This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. There are two sets of supporting materials. One is the Maths Mesh Guide, a summary of research knowledge and pedagogical knowledge. The second is the Numeracy for All booklet, showing in detail how to make and use the resources mentioned here. OK, we're going to have a, a look at a couple of examples of some misconceptions, common misconceptions that... Um, that children uh, encounter when they're doing maths. Uh, I've said it many times, I would like children to understand maths, not just know how to do it. They should really consider maths almost like as a journey. So you're, you're applying the, uh, the knowledge and the skills that you've been given in order to reach an answer. But the journey to the answer in a way is more important than the answer because if children get the answer wrong, they need to be able to retrace their steps and along the journey in order to understand where it was that they went wrong. Okay, so let's look at some of the mistakes that children commonly make. They're learning to count. So they've learned to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29. Now what comes after 29? Well, what comes after 9? 10. So what comes after 29? Well, 2010. Yeah, it's logical. And you can understand how children can make that mistake. And then they're very confused when they're told, no, actually, it's 30. And they think, well, what is this 30? So this is where an understanding of place value is, is very important. So the children know that these, um, these ones are grouped into tens. So we can actually make, so what we've got here, when we get to 29, we've actually got two tens, yeah, and we've got nine units. So if I just put a row here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we've got nine units. So when we add in another unit, then we've got another 10. So we're gonna replace that, and that's where we get 30 from. So it shows how using Concrete materials can really help the children understand where this strange number 30s come from and why it's not 2910. Okay, another common mistake that's made is when writing numbers. If you ask children to write numbers, let's say for example they're going to write 300. So we write 300. Yeah, we show this to the teacher and the teacher says, yeah, well done, that's correct, that's 300, well done. Okay, so now we're going to say, okay, well, so now write 340. So they're going to say, okay, so that was 300, I know that was right because my teacher told me that it was right. So now I need 40, so in the child's mind, then yeah, 300 and 40, perfectly logical. So why is it wrong? So now the teacher, the teacher tells them, no, no, now it's wrong. And we can need to understand that in the mind of the child, they cannot understand why this is wrong. So again, this is where place value comes in. So let's give another example. 7,000. One hundred. And eighty. Five. So in the child's mind, that is 7,185, but obviously it's way out, it's wrong. So this is where the place value cards are vital for the children to understand that yes, in a way, this isn't wrong, I turn this around, because what we actually have is 7,000 and 100 and 80 and five. So if we take, we have our 7,000, have our 100, which we place on, we have 80, and we have 5. The 80 is still there, but because we have 5 ones, the 5 ones takes the place of the, uh, the units 0 on the, on the 80. So there you have it. And hopefully the children will see then why... This is not the way 
that we write the number, although it is a breakdown of the numbers that we use. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics, a guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low cost or no cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. Okay, let's go and teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.